when I was a kid, I think that the symbol yin and yang was something that was like symbolic to me. I didn't really understand what it meant. When we started Clot, we started really researching Chinese culture and traditions and found that uh, you know, the yin yang symbol had a much deeper meaning and a deeper philosophical kind of um, viewpoint, right? Our mission statement is to bridge the, the gap between East and West. And I think that that's something that we've been trying to do since day one. You know, sometimes we're maybe a little bit more yin than yang, or then we become more yang than yin. But I think that that's life. You know, it's the same thing in creative field. You, you know, you design something, it fails. You have to understand why. You don't just say, oh, this failed, let's move on. You know, this succeeded, why? And, you know, as a, as a person, you have to do those things too, right? You know, I've had dark moments, um, but at the same time, it's like the pendulum thing, right? It's, it's like the, the market, right? The market goes up, it has to come back down, right? So if you can expect these things and understand that life is this way, then when it swings back into the so-called dark area of the yin-yang circle, you can understand that it's a process, it's a cycle. And trying to understand where you can find positivity is the number one thing that I preach to everyone around me now, you know? Um, through every negative situation, you can, you can find something positive out of it. Um, although it's hard, that's the way to succeed. A funny story is, is you know, I live in America now. Um, and people ask me this question all the time. What do you do, Edison? And I say, I'm a creator. And then they, 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 they're like, what do you mean by that? I'm like, you know, I just do this and I do a little bit of that. And then like eight months later, they're like, man, why are you lying to me? And I'm like, what are you talking about? They're like, oh, I saw you in Initial D on Netflix. You know, and I'm like, yeah, I told you, I created her. I created that role, right? Lying, right? Yeah, yeah, so I didn't lie. And they're like, why are you trying to hide that you're an actor? I'm like, bro, I'm, I, you know, like that's not, you know, I, I don't define myself as, as one thing. And I think that that's a problem with people nowadays is that they're trying to define themselves, right? In a world that has no definition. How do you define this world? There's no one that can give you a clear definition of what this world is and what we're here for. So you might as well just enjoy it. And how do you enjoy it? Is not giving yourself the pressures of everyday life and what is successful and what is unsuccessful. What is successful is enjoying and be having fun, you know? I see people that are broke as hell that are happier than the billionaire. I've been fortunate enough to be able to see both sides of the spectrum and understand where I fit in there. I listen to Billie Eilish a lot because of my daughter. And you know, she has a song called Getting Older and she's like, things I once enjoyed just keep me employed now, you know? And I felt that way a long time. I felt that way for a long time. And now I don't feel that way at all. Like I feel like everything I'm doing is just enjoyment. It's, it's a mission state, our new mission statement is who, who and how do we nurture the next people, right? The next group. Um, it's very important for us, you know, um, especially for me, to pass, so-called pass the baton off to someone, right? Um, I think that investing in the future is the only way, you know? Um, there's some people that like to safeguard their position and, and say, hey, until, until like, it's like king shit, right? It's like, okay, I have to safeguard, safeguard, safeguard. Me and the, the, I think for the first 10 years, that was our mentality. Slowly, we're trying to see who to bring to the table and who to put on next. Okay, thank you guys.